If you've been following my channel for a while now, you've probably figured out that I'm a big fan of most of Nina Otteson's puzzles, and the dog tornado toy is no exception. Considered a level two puzzle, which seems to be my dog's sweet spot, they took to this one right away. Inside any or all of the 12 compartments in this spinning toy, you can place dry kibble, pieces of broccoli, dollops of peanut butter, spoonfuls of wet food, and more. This puzzle came with four white plastic bones, but if you have an extra two laying around from other Nina Otteson puzzles, you can use up to six at a time to interrupt your dog's spinning. This is definitely my preferred way to present this puzzle to Maya and Forrest. Without those bones, I would consider it a level one toy. While I do sometimes give it to them that way, both can solve it in less than two minutes, but the bones can actually double the length of time that my dogs use this toy. And having said that, I really like that variability. And it seems to me that it would be greatly beneficial to have this toy if you have a young puppy because they can really grow with it. To complete this puzzle, dogs use their mouths, paws, and noses, engaging in multiple species-specific behaviors, which is what I look for when I provide a new type of enrichment. From a human perspective, it gets five stars from me in regards to the diversity of food that you can use with this toy, the fact that it's easy to clean and that it's conveniently sized so it's easy to store and you can stick it in the freezer to provide your pup with a cool summer treat if desired. If I have one critique, it's that this puzzle is super lightweight, so Forrest, who is notoriously rough with his toys, occasionally drags or flips it. And while that doesn't really impact us too much, I can imagine that a human with hardwood floors, for example, might not be too pleased. So this might be a better fit for dogs who play or interact with puzzles more gently. If you ask me, this seems like a great level two toy for dogs that excelled at level one and are looking for a notch up in difficulty without going overboard. After all, if you end up with this puzzle and it ends up being tough, then you can just make it a little bit easier by removing those plastic bones. But if your dog is ready to skip a grade, check out our review for the similarly named Twister toy. And until then, no matter what you do with your dog next, good luck and have fun.